He has a beautiful turn of voice. And he's a very cool guy. Ladies and gentlemen, Russell Thomas. <laughs> He was born in Miami. He fell in love with opera at the age of eight, but he only started taking voice lessons when he was 18 years old. His teacher first heard him when he was singing a solo in his high school choir. And she very soon told him that not only could he be an opera singer, but he could get into any school he wanted. And he did. The thing is, the tenor voice is one of the hardest voices to figure out. I mean, all voices are hard. Operatic singing technique is hard in general, but like tenors have it a bit worse. So it was complicated for Thomas to find the voice teacher. He never spent more than three years with the same one. And after his years at the Conservatory of Miami, he was actively looking for one. In fact, he auditioned for the Met Young Artist Program after not working with a teacher for one and a half year. He got in the studio and he kept on working with the Met team. And before that, he was part of many other young artist programs. While he was working as a young artist at the Met, he was advised by the artistic director of the time to only sing Mozart. And he did start his career by singing Mozart. But his voice was meant for bigger and larger repertoire. In 2017, he sang for the first time the role of Otello. It's a massive role that's beautiful not only musically, but that also raises a lot of questions, especially since Russell Thomas was one of the only black singer who performed the role of a black man on stage, which was often performed with blackface makeup. Russell Thomas is also a singer who is very active on social media, especially to express his own experience towards racism and the lack of representation in the opera industry. He often says to the press that the opera industry needs more black administrators. And apparently he's exploring that path himself. He was also part of the important voices in a recent scandal that happened in the American opera industry. When David Tucker, the son and member of the board of the Richard Tucker Foundation, made racist comments on social media after George Floyd's murder. Russell Thomas was one of the people who strongly pressured the foundation to not only fire Tucker, but to install a new system that would be way more inclusive. Because since the beginning of this grant, there has only been one Afro-American winner. One black man on 42 winners. So I hope that amazing voices like the one of Russell Thomas will be heard not only on the opera stage, but also a bit outside. It has become the time of evening when people sit on their porches rocking gently and talking gently. And watching the stream and the sun